Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, if you have a bit of a sore neck and a creaky body, well, we have Dr. Perry Williams, who's a chiropractic and sports performance over there at Winchester Chiropractic. How are you, my Hello, friend? Hello, great. Good I was to just see you. asking you off camera, you know, I played a lot of sport over the last four yeah. days, and I said, could you manipulate me while I was on camera and you got a bit scared? Well, I wasn't sure about the case history and the previous <laughs> uh, activities. I don't remember up. the case history either. <laughs> Well, well, Troy has been playing a lot of sports, but you deal with Olympic athletes. Were you just at the Olympics? What were you doing there? And how they how do they differ from me? Well, I, I think that you're Same probably. Same body type, though, right? I think he's Same probably closer to elite level than we think. I think oh, I'm going to yeah. give him the benefit of the doubt Aww. that he's closer to elite level. You're than coming we think. back every week. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I already forgot the question, and you said, oh, we're just "How did saying I get?" Just down so at the Olympics. Yes, what Rio. Were you doing I was there? in Rio, so I was called up by the uh, USOC to be a member of the sports medicine team. And high performance wow. uh, sports performance yeah and so. what what's involved with that tell us a little about what how does that all come about well so basically what happens is each each training center has what they call a high performance training center mm. and there may be two or three depending on the location what made Rio unique was the fact that we had some things to overcome in other words the uh, high performance training centers were spread out sometimes over miles and miles and I mean like 60, 70, 80 miles and so we had to have wow. high performance training centers in areas to give our athletes as much advantage as possible. All right well let's just jump right into this because there are yep. people at home wanti wanting to know if they haven't been to a chiropractor yes. or they should. Yes. Why, what's the difference between a chiropractor or a sports chiropractor? Sure. Do they specialize in two different things? That's a great question. And internationally and nationally, uh, I have certifications in what's called a CCSP and a DACBSP. It's a bunch of alphabet, but basically what it means, it's postgraduate certifications. Now, some states recognize them and some do not, mm. uh, but internationally they're recognized. So you can maybe be in a state that it's, it's maybe not recognized, but you can still be in recognized internationally, if that makes sense. So basically, the difference would be, as a general rule, most sports trained chiropractors are going to be a little bit better in extremity. I wouldn't say better, but different. Mm -hmm. So our extremity diagnosis and treatment for elbows, wrists, hands, knees, feet, ankles, that kind of thing would be a little bit different than like just the guy right out of school. Well, so what are some of the issues that you can take care of? You kind of touched on that lightly, but why would someone come to see you? Yeah, so basically we see a couple different types. First of all, in our town, because we've been there 19, 20 years now in mm -hmm. Winchester, we get a lot of, uh, we're the first source of contact, so we're the first people that someone may seek out. But in most general terms, it's when things have failed. So you've kind of gone all the way around the horn in traditional medicine per se, and then it didn't work out or you just didn't get it fixed. Okay. And so then they would see a chiropractor for okay. that at that time. So did you get to treat Simone Biles while you were over there? Well, I'm not allowed to discuss specific oh. individual, but I can tell you that I worked with certain teams. Like, so we work with basketball and rugby and polo okay. and water polo and some gymnastics and different okay. things. Well, that I asked that because our very own weatherman, Eric, is a former gymnast. Oh yeah. And I was yeah. wondering if he had the same type of body we could check or him out. injuries that um, <laughs> the table's pretty Miles sturdy. <laughs> yeah, the table's pretty sturdy, I'm sure. <laughs> Eric's not here anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wanted to ask you yeah. um, when uh, because you do specialize in also sports performance, mm -hmm. chiropractic work when people come in and see you, is it something they need to do on a regular basis yeah. or you do a diagnosis to begin with? I would assume x-rays and things like that. We can. It depends on the condition. However, what typically happens, we see two different types of folks. Um, mm -hmm. Primarily, they'll come in to fix, say, I have this problem. Yeah. And so we'll come in, fix it, hopefully as quickly as possible uh. in four, five, six, eight times often try to teach you how to do it yourself. We also have a physical therapist there, acupuncture, massage, the whole nine yards. But if, and then from that point on, if you're a routine athlete, a lot of times folks will have some form of ongoing performance care or wellness care that might be once a month or every other week. Well, but those are great. different and it's often confused. Like people think that when they come, they always have to go and that's not necessarily no, no, the I, case. Okay. I see what I mean. Going yeah. to a chiropractor is yeah. something everyone should do. If you want to find out yeah. more about Dr. Perry Williams over there in Winchester, there is all the information up on the screen. Now, hey bud, I love that you are open on a Saturday. Yeah. I'm there. There you go. I oh, need to that's great. That's Saturday. great. I am perfect. We can, yeah, that. we'll get that neck adjustment in. Yes. All right, we'll so send Eric over there for his yeah, 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 yeah. gymnastics training. <laughs> He's going to kill us. <laughs> we can do it. We'll do it, we'll do it right now. <laughs> we'll send you over to the weather, weather center after this. <laughs>